In this next video, I noticed that this punch, uh, the size was uh, is incorrect because look at this, I don't even have a carrier connecting to the part. If I click on it, I can edit the punch, put some back into the sketch, and I'll make some adjustments. There we go. Exit the sketch, the punch updates, and you can see the cut updates. Um, also, let's say I want to move this punch over another station. Well, I can use the arrows to move it down. Or if I hold down the Alt key, I can drag it over to back over to here. I can drag it uh, by uh, drag and dropping it. I'm going to select Apply and the punch will move and the cut will update. Uh, then I'm going to, um, you can see that this little V-notch coin is only on the part. It's not going into the skeleton or scrap of the strip. So we'll correct that. And so I need to exit out of the strip level function. And this information note, I could populate it, but I'll say no for now. So we'll make changes later. And I'm gonna click on this part and edit it. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert these faces as a surface within this part. So I will take and go into surfacing and do a surface offset. And I'll do a distance of zero. Click OK. And I'll get up edit mode. And then I'll open up this part. And the first thing I'll do is I'll take and mirror this part over to the other side. So uh, let's take and go to direct editing. Actually, I'll do it right here. Say mirror. I'll mirror about this face and the bodies I want to mirror is that. Then I'll take and hide this body. So I'm only can see the surface. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and use a local press feature called faces merging and I'll select these these faces clear that out select these faces right here and this will create an imported surface and this surface you can see has an external relation this one does not it's just a dumb imported surface so these I can delete I won't have our external relation to rebuild or have a problem later on with if I'd make any modifications. Take and show the solid body. And then I can use this surface body and do a cut. Let's say cut with surface and reverse the direction. There we go. And then hide that surface. These two, I can move. I can move these um, up to the top here. Undo that. Move them up to the top if I wanted to. I could also take and put these into a folder. And I can name this folder, um, just name it, label it coin. And I'll save this and close it. And you can see here, 
is coming down the line, but once we get to where this skeleton part has a different configuration to it, you can see that that cut is no longer there. That's because this skeleton part has multiple configurations in it. And by default, any new features are, are um, suppressed in all the other configurations except for the one that was created in. Well, Local Press has a tool to help us with that. I'll just select on uh, the station that this was created in and expand it. Let's see here, here's that folder. And I'll select all of this and right click. Go to local press three, unsuppress on the following stations. And it will do just that. You can see it unsuppressed the features on all of the following stations. And uh, so that portion is complete. We can also take and I want to show you this function where if I wanted to, I can click on a station and I can say show hide the previous step on that station. So you can see, okay, that's the overbent state, that's the relaxed state. Again, then I can do that in many of these stations. Look at that station, overlay the previous station. Again, it overlays the previous station on it. That's a very helpful function. This is also available while in the tool assembly. And that will be it for this video.